Hello viewers, welcome to Income Fund Fundas, Simplifying Debt Markets, a unique show hosted by your truly Sunil Javeri and brought to you by Axis Mutual Fund. Another question by a viewer asking for the meanings of some of the debt market jargons like accrual, mark to market and yield curve. Here it goes. What is accrual? Accrual is an accounting practice which allows us to accrue income but you may be receiving that income at a later date. Borrowers issue debt securities with fixed maturity profile and interest rate payments on a monthly basis or a quarterly basis. But because of this accounting uh, practice, we can accrue that income on a daily basis. But you may receive it one month later, one quarter later, six months down the line and so on and so forth. Unfortunately, accrual is a very loosely used word and it gets associated with only credit calls in the mutual fund space. Accrual is there in every security which you are buying in the debt space. It can be an accrual of a GSEX, which is the government securities. It can be accrual on state development loans. It can be accruals on AAA rated corporate bonds or it can be accrual on credit papers also. So accrual is nothing but an income which you are accruing on a regular basis, but you may receive it at certain specified periods of time. What is MTM or mark to market? Based on SEBI regulation, you have to reflect the current value of the underlying securities in the net asset value. Let me explain that. You may have bought a debt security at 100 rupees face value, but if it gets traded at 98 rupees, the net asset value must reflect its current valuation, which is 98 rupees. That means the value of that security would have gone down and the net asset value also would have gone down. As against that, if the same security trades at say 101 rupee, it should reflect that 101 in the net asset value and the net asset value would have gone up because of that mark to market which has gone into the positive side as far as the investors are concerned. This is what we call mark to market. What is yield curve? Yield curve plots a graph of yields and not coupon of similar quality bonds from its shortest maturity to its longest maturity. There can be a six month paper, there will be a 12 month paper, there will be a five year paper of similar quality bonds and the yields of that once it gets plotted on a graph that becomes a yield curve. What is a steep yield curve? A steep yield curve is where the borrower is willing to pay higher interest for longer dated security and lower interest for shorter dated security. As against that, what is an inverted yield curve? Inverted yield curve is when the borrower is willing to pay higher interest for shorter dated maturity and lower interest for longer dated maturity. And what's a flat yield curve? A flat yield curve is when the borrower is willing to pay something similar for short dated maturities to long dated maturity. In this example, as I've shown to you, 8%, 8.25% or 8.5% for 6 months, 12 months or a 18 month paper. Hope viewers have understood different uh, debt market jargons like what is accrual, what is mark to market and what is a yield curve. Thank you so much. Mutual fund investments are subject to market risks. Read all scheme related documents carefully.